Right, let's get on with the brick floor tutorial. Now then, if you press Y as the keyboard shortcut, you'll activate pencil tool. So yeah, don't ask me why it's the letter Y, but then again if you press P you go into like a uh, fountain pen sort of symbol which lets you be able to uh, make curves. But there you go, I know it's a little bit confusing, but yeah. <laughs> I did mention this quick story about this scary friend of mine back in episode 13 and it's where um, I forgot to mention something right when it came to that Pertemps guy it's where don't worry the Pertemps guy is a good guy so don't worry and it's where so no rant here and it's where when he saw one of my college photos there was like this so called scary looking guy and it's where I forgot to mention something right I did recently look at those photos and because they're from 2006 it's where the photo quality is actually quite low and it's where, <laughs> it's where to be honest the kind of grin this friend of mine actually gives off those look like Gengar from Pokemon you know the prankster looking Pokemon I'm sure most people who's played Pokemon will recognize this Pokemon but anyway that's the kind of grin that uh, the scary looking guy hard but I don't think he looks very scary I think people just perceive him in a very scary looking way when it's like I don't perceive as uh, someone grinning like Gengar as a uh, really scary looking I mean Gengar looks still look well he still looks quite uh, friendly if you, if you look at it this way <laughs> If you want scary looking things, look at Resident Evil because some of the enemies in that look very terrifying, especially those regenerators from Resident Evil 4. <laughs> That's quite terrifying. And then there's the Dead Hand from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and that was rated E for everyone to play. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, you know. So if that one guy back at Pertemps thinks that one friend looks scary, he's definitely not played Legend Zelda or Ocarina of Time with the dead hand. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, let's playing a Resident Evil game but you know <laughs> it's, a, it's too frightening for a lot of my viewers so I don't think I should. I was thinking about doing so but I thought nah. By the way I have actually played Resident Evil 1 to 5. Um, I've not played 6 but I did watch someone play it. A lot of people say Resident Evil 6 is not that good. <laughs> it's where Resident Evil 7 is like first person based and it's where I have seen people play Resident Evil 7 as well but it's not that good either. <laughs> some people like Resident Evil 7, some people don't. But the problem with Resident Evil 7 was that uh, the story was a little bit too similar to one of the Silent Hill stories because there's a game series called Silent Hill and it's where um, basically in one of the Silent Hill games there's this guy who's looking for his missing wife right and it's where in Resident Evil 7 there's another guy called Ethan and he's also trying to look for his missing wife <laughs> and they're both in survival horror settings I do know about Resident Evil 8, it's been out for a little while now and that game's definitely better than 7 from what I've seen uh, so I thought mm, my channel is mainly for like 12s and up that's the thing so if I suddenly start let's play in like scary games some people might just go oh no <laughs> scary game let's play so then suddenly it's like Sonic or Mega Man or something where it's like totally different so I just thought yeah maybe I should not do a Resident Evil let's play I was thinking about doing a Devil May Cry let's play because Devil May Cry is very different from Resident Evil it's a little bit more light-hearted even though they put blood in it still and things like that also there's a lot of mess about parts in it especially in Devil May Cry 3 with the woohoohoohoo thing <laughs> now there is gonna be like a skip in this video because there's not really much point showing myself uh, copy and paste and move the different bricks across the whole uh, floor because you've already seen me do it on across like three columns so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a time skip and after the time skip I'll do a different part of the floor 
Oh, just another quick story about me. I've been building up the Devil May Cry Dante cosplay outfit. And it's where I've been doing this for a little while now. And it's where I was very happy when I got something from the post. It's like these black Dante gloves that I use. It's the Devil May Cry 3 version I'm trying to cosplay as in the future. So yeah, so I am so happy. What's even better is that the black gloves only cost a like eight or nine pounds and it did not take very long for it to come in the post since it was already in the UK. So I thought Woohoo Literally <laughs> Twenty five minutes of drawing later Right we are back Yeah I like SpongeBob SquarePants <laughs> Well most of the episodes of it anyway I wanted to at least put one SpongeBob reference in there <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember watching the Spongebob Squarepants movie from uh, A to Star and it's, <laughs> there was this one really scary part despite it's for like three year olds and up and it's when Plankton uh, brainwashes all those uh, bikini bottom citizens with them all having buckets on their head so like saying all hail Plankton repeatedly that was pretty scary that especially when all those arms were after Squidward <laughs> it's like oh no <laughs> That would bring nightmares to people. And they even crashing through the windows later on, like Resident Evil zombies. Like, man, Plan Z of Plankton's uh, evil plans is just so dark and scary. <laughs> he is not, like, friendly one bit. It's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, my word. Using everyone in the city as the weapon. It's like, wow, get them to be your slaves. That's just like, wow. <laughs> oh yeah, something else also came in the post as well. Um, I did get those Dante gloves and what also came alongside it is the referee booklet, you know, the one with the yellow card and the one with the red card. And it also came with the whistle as well because, you know, I'm into football and it's where <laughs> So I'm surprised that the football referee booklets also came with the Dante gloves. So I'm not thinking, wow, even though they were from two different sellers. <laughs> oh well. Now people are going to be asking me, why do you need a yellow or red card booklet, N? Well, it's because I do this thing for myself, right? And do you remember the rant I made about Petrine and Ursula? Yeah, they're basically been red carded by me. <laughs> already and it's where basically I do this thing in my mind where whenever someone's a really bad seller I either give them a yellow card or a red card and obviously two yellows make a red right and because Petrine went around lying her head off so much I thought yeah she got a red card especially that time when she said my grandma had a stroke last week and decided to draw fan art of someone else's character in that same week so you know that Honestly, you don't go around making things up which clearly are not happening. And also, like I said in that other video, you don't go around using your relative dying in front of you as an excuse as to why you cannot finish someone else's commission. You just don't do that. You should just admit your own faults. <laughs> oh, and that's another thing, right? I didn't say this in the Petrine rant that I made last year. I think it was last year. It was the year before that. Right, and it's where I read one of her dumb diary things after I already left her, right? And she actually admitted that she actually lied before. <laughs> it was like, so you admit that you're a liar, yet you're going to continue lying to people even more so afterwards. And then, about one or two months later, she was like, going around saying, Oh no, my grandma passed away. It was just like, yeah, you really going to get sympathy for going around lying to people on purpose several times. And then, you know, it's just like, I just wonder what that one grandma thinks of her own granddaughter flipping lying to her so much. Or lying about her on the internet. <laughs> but yeah, definitely red card for her. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's another thing, right? People are probably wondering, what happens if you get a red card by you? And it's where, what happens is that you won't get a commission off me, you won't get any views from me, so in other words, I won't even go onto your videos, and you won't even get hype from me. So in other words, you won't even be welcomed by me. 
I have actually given two yellow cards to someone which made it into a red before, right? And it's like, I didn't mention this before, right? But I won't say the person's name, right? There's this, like, this uh, MP3 girl, and it's where she, like, makes MP3s on Patreon, right? When you give her, like, £3 a month, she, like, makes them for you. And she does, like, song covers and things like that, right? Which is fine and dandy. But after, like, 15, 16 months, she just went missing for over over a month, so I just went and just quitted, right? And what happened was, like, she just came back and <laughs> went around saying, Oh, I'm depressed, or um, I'm on hiatus. Like, yeah, you're on hiatus or depressed saying Merry Christmas to people on Twitter. Yeah, totally telling the truth there. And um, that's one of the two yellow cards, right? There was another one where she goes around saying on Patreon, oh, if you give me five pounds a month, I'll give you a live stream where you can come talk to me, right? And the problem is that she only did like one out of three of them. So in other words, it's like one in January and then the, she misses two out and then goes for one in April and things like that. So she's not really do fulfilling your side of the deal if you give her money so i just thought well that's another yellow card so that made it into a red so she's not getting any more money from me she's not getting any more views either because she's got a youtube channel and she's also not gonna get high from me so technically she actually owes me a few mp3s right now <laughs> it's just like you know don't you just hate it when people owe you something and, and you just never want to get it so that's why that made it into a red. Now most people will be like saying, well, and why did you go to it at all? Because, believe it or not, she used to be really good. She used to actually do what she said she'd do. So we'll just say in 2020, I think I was her patron at around July on, and it's where um, back in 2020 July, I gave her, I think it was £1 or £3 because it was just basically to support her but she actually uh, still talks to you and stuff through comments usually and it's, it's where she did talk to me a lot uh, she did respond to my messages a lot but it's because she's got so many like subscribers so obviously you're not going to be able to respond to every single comment are you so it's only for the thing and so also she had a discord server and that was actually quite good as well for most parts anyway and it's where, uh, for the MP3 parts, because I upgraded from £1 here to £3 here, and it's where what happened was that she did the £3 here, like, perfectly fine for literally a whole year. So she was really good, and she actually did them on time and everything. And it's where there was this one month, which I can still forgive her for, believe it or not, where she did give one MP3 song cover that she did, like, one week too late. But that was fine because she still gave it. But the problem with the very end part, back in December 2021, I think it was, is that she, she was like, just went missing completely. In fact, she went missing from about 11th of November, actually, because that was the very last MP3 I got. So basically from like 11th of November all the way to like very end of December, when I actually quitted being her patron, she didn't even do anything. So basically, she owed me about three or four MP3s. Anyway, rant over. Um, I've actually very nearly finished with this uh, How to Draw Viewpoint series. I've still got one more video to make because I still need to make the shadow, which won't take that long. And there's one other thing I need to do. So I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to actually show your support, you may take like, share, or subscribe to my channel. You can even do all three of them if you want to. So yeah, and with that, I'll end up the video. So thanks you for watching.